All right, guys, had a nice little morning session with my friend Ryan. We're gonna try something a little bit different. I am going to try to do an MTB slam quick. I've got this pro box here. All right, so a lot of the baits in here, a little bit more of moving type baits. I'll uh, give you guys a little bit of a peek in here as far as what I'll be throwing. But going through this box real quick, first thing is this Biospawn Exo Swim 4 inch. Should be a pretty easy bait to catch stuff on. Next, I've got this Great Lakes Agitator. This is actually a really slow sinking one. I have used this one before. Um, really slow sinking, which makes it really easy to like fall on a fish's face. Can trigger a lot of bites. Um, there's also this little black and blue flipping jig um that might be a little hard here there's a lot of weeds in the bottom so i might almost have to use this as a swim jig this little booyah baits prank kind of a whitish yellow natural color that's like a popper except it has a little bit of a lip so it kind of dives down as you retrieve it or pop it um next i got this z-man chatterbait bucktail so it's just a bucktail except with a chatterbait lip on there and uh I don't know, that'll probably either get bitten off by a pike or get me a nice bass. And I've got these tiny little lizards from Carl's. That will actually probably do pretty well. And this little almost drop shot type bait almost looks like a little leech or worm of some sort. So we've got a pretty good box here. Um, I'm going to try and get the hardest baits out of the way. I mean, it's 2 o'clock right now. So the hardest baits are probably gonna are gonna end up being the moving baits i think those flipping baits i can catch i'm pretty confident i can catch fish on but this prank and probably the bucktail are my two biggest concerns guess this prank is kind of interesting just by my one cast there kind of seems like you can use it as a popper and it kind of like darts off to the side really quick once you pop it Or you can just kind of reel it in as almost like a shallow diving crankbait. Well, oh, interesting little bait. Maybe we can get bit on it. That'll probably be the hardest one. I mean, it is 226 currently. So if we can knock that one out, I'll be uh, I'll be pretty happy. Another bait I'll throw. I'll throw this little lipless. I'm a little bit more confident in this. In this bait like i said i've thrown it before cool little see-through purple goldish color kind of more of a dark purple on top with a goldish scale pattern across the top here we go I'm going to try and do this mtb slam i really don't know how long i have i don't know when i have to be home so i don't know if i have a couple hours to get this done or an hour or three hours um <laughs> so we're just gonna see what we can do this is why i love doing this why i love mystery tackle box um just getting to try new baits that i probably otherwise wouldn't have bought quite truthfully but it makes you experience new things and become a better angler so i've got the prank on one rod the exo swim on the other Oh, I might as well put that little drop shot worm bait on my drop shot rod. This is the this is the bait right here. Just a tiny little, almost like a plasma tail worm. Let's see if we can get one on the prank. Now, before this, the couple of bass I caught were on a square bill, so I might just use this prank as a square bill instead of an actual popper what i'm doing to retrieve this right now is i'm giving it kind of a pop and then reeling it in so it makes a little bit of commotion on top and then you know give it more of that crankbait type retrieve and i let it pause and come back up towards the top again
Oh, there's a fish. There we go, number one on the prank. Little bass hit it right next to the boat. Wow, he is pretty feisty. God, that was almost bad. Okay, number one on the prank, awesome. That bait is now out of the way. I was just reeling it straight in like a square bill. So glad that bait is out of the way. No, it's definitely one of my tougher baits. So now on this rod, I'm going to throw this Exo Swim Bio Spawn. Now you just take your bait and with these Gamagatsu hooks, they've got a little screw here. So all I'm doing is I'm just screwing this bait in. Just goes on real easy like that. And it's got this little seam at the bottom. So you just put the hook in. This is a four at Gamagatsu hook. And then you stick the point of the hook back into the bait. So now it's completely weedless. I'm just going to slow roll this all the way back in. Just missed one on the exo so I'm gonna see if I can go back with the drop shot and get him. There we go. You know, it counts. There is number one on the drop shot. That is a super micro bass. He looks like he'll probably be like a three pounder one day. Three, four pounder. Super chunky. Whatever, I'll take him. There goes another bait. Drop shot is over with. Don't really have too many easy baits left. I'm trying to punch out this Exo Swim and this lipless crankbait right now. Which are both not super easy tasks, but also not the hardest things in the world. I feel like I can get fish on both. There's one on the exo swim. Boom. All right, that bait is done and over with. Just barely hooked. Not a big fish again, but I will take him all day. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. That's a couple out of this bay now. I gotta try to get one on this lipless crankbait. I'm just gonna kind of twitch this back in with this really slow fall rate, almost like a jerk bait. Oh, oh my god. Guys, there is a four pound bass. Right in front of me, guys. He's. I got one of them. That's a good one. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh yeah, it's like a three pounder. The slow fall on that bait, that's what got this one. That is not the big one that I saw, but this is a very nice fish. Okay guys, we, we knocked this crankbait out. Oh, one hook barely in him. Look at that nice fish. That's two and a half all day, let's go. Let's get him back. Boom, there he goes. All right, we gotta retie two of our rods. There was a school of three bass that went cruising through there. And there was that one and one that was a little bit bigger than him too. And I dropped that thing right in there. That's a great thing about kayak fishing is that you can be really stealthy on fish. And that's what I did with that one. I just made sure I was super quiet. That's why I haven't been talking a lot. And he came up and crushed it. Hey guys, we have two baits left. We only have two baits left. We have this bucktail right here, black and blue. 
we have this weird looking little lizard bait. All right, so this little lizard bait, I'm gonna put on that same four odd hook that I was using for the exo swim. All right, this is what we got going. Almost like a squid, or I don't even know what this thing is. It's got a ton of appendages, which should be good. The flutter in these fish's face. With this bait, I'm just kind of doing, as I'm retrieving, I'm just kind of doing shorter hops, shorter, sharp hops along the way. Just trying to make it flutter in the middle of the water calm a little bit. Trying to get an aggressive one to come up to eat, like I just did on that on that last bait there. Well, guys, this challenge isn't looking good. Been fishing for about an hour and a half. I've got four out of seven down. I could have just had five, but I kind of got to get going here. But man, I can just feel I'm close to completing this thing. Just need a little bit more time. I'm gonna have to slowly start making my way back. I don't think I'll be able to get three baits down on my way back, but I did get three baits down in one bay, so you know anything is possible. Honestly, right now I'm just trying to stay a little bit tighter to the shoreline and see if I can do what I did, how I got two of my baits down in that last bay and just try and sight fish them. See if there's any crews in a weed line that I can pick off. There's a fish. Another pike. Oh my gosh. Another pike. So I had one much bigger than this on. Little guy. Well, we're not done yet, guys. We've got the jig. And this lizard left. I was working that one like a jig. So, our two baits left are bottom oriented. I should probably be heading out right now, to be honest. But, I am finishing this lap. I'm going to see if I can make that happen. Oh, bass right here, bass right here, bass right here. Where'd you go? I got him. On the jig, on the jig, on the jig. Oh man, we have one lure left, guys. There is bass number six. I'm literally like, I can probably cast and hit my, my stuff on shore. Oh man, oh my gosh. We have one bait left. It's this weird lizard thing. Come on. It's gotta be in this bay. This is the, literally the last spot. <laughs> There's my stuff right there. And this is my last little section to fish. I saw that fish just barely on the shoreline. I didn't know if he was big enough to eat the jig. I pitched it in there and boom, he freaking nailed it. Oh man, I gotta get one on this lizard thing. Come on. If I get a bite, I gotta frickin' rip it. There's one. I got one. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. First cast with it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. There it is. The very next cast. Look at that. 
ate the lizard. Boom, not a giant, but you know, probably just over a pound or so. I will take it on the way back. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I honestly didn't even know if I was gonna be able to make a video out of that or what was gonna happen, but we completed the slam. That was awesome. First one I've done in a really long time. Felt really good to power through that. So again, thank you guys so much for staying tuned for this episode. It was a great episode, able to complete the slam. That was awesome. Until next time, I will catch you all later. See ya.